So, what do we see? In a small hole, we see in a house also, uh, everybody is actually, we, they, we get, we wanted to imitate Krishna, uh, it is not possible, it's illegal also, because duplication of anything is illegal in this world. Okay? China, they sell duplicate Sony product, duplicate iPhone, it's illegal. So similarly, we also like to be imitation of Krishna, it's illegal. And neither it is possible. Krishna is Vibhu, he is like the sun, and we are like a photon of the sun. Now, how can a photon imitate the sun? Is it possible? One ray of the sunshine and the sun. Nature is saying the ray of the sunshine is also having heat, the sun is also heat. But there is comparison, isn't there? There is a comparison. So, same way, actually, our desire originally is to imitate Krishna. And we come to this world. Then what does Krishna offer in the spiritual world? To all the people who come at his lotus feet, Krishna gives them pure love. Okay? And there is so much affection and their loving dealings. And every day, every day, the love for Krishna increases. And the exchange of loving exchanges becomes sweeter and sweeter. Either it is between Krishna and Radharani, the topmost relationship, or between that is called Madhuri Rasa, or between Krishna and Yashoda, that is Vasarya Rasa, or Krishna and the friends like Arjuna or the Gopas, like Sudama. Now this is another Rasa. And then we have Krishna and the servants like Daruka, another Rasa, or like Hanuman. And then we have Krishna and the, like the cows, Shantaras, or the parrots. Now all these living entities in the spiritual world, every day, their love for Krishna increases and their enjoyment increases. Imagine. Is it possible in the So we come to this world to imitate Krishna. And all of us want to exchange all these lessons. Now honestly you see, all of you are having these five rasas because this is the nature of the soul. Some people will love and like uh, husband and wife. Some people are like that is the strongest relation. Little less than that is vasalya. That's why there is always sas bahu fight because the son when you get attracted to the wife, uh, that is stronger attraction than mother also, and that no mother can take it. How she is? Mera tos beta hi ho ogale. Ab to mere taraf dekhta bhi nahi. That is always a nature. <laughs> Sometimes some students say, no sir, in my uh, the girls tell me. No sir, in this house, Vasari is stronger than <laughs> Madhuri Rasa. Sometimes they come to chat with me. But no, the fact is they are competing and Madhuri Rasa is stronger. That's why why is it people leave home sometimes to just get married to a particular girl. Okay? And then Madhuri Rasa is there, then and therefore, you see, most of the movies are also written on Madhuri Rasa. They know it's the strongest force. They play around it. They don't play around every time with Vasa Gartha. They do, but that is always second. But they are dealing with the reflection. They are not dealing with the reality. And then, like this Rasa there. So, we are also, we see, we go to home every day. Try to expand every day. Affection to your parents and your friends and all. It will become dry in one time. It will become dry. If people will think you are not mad. But in the spiritual world, Prabhupada says, supply is unlimited. As much you demand affection from Krishna, unlimited is ready to supply. Devotees are desiring more and more affection from Krishna, and the supply is unlimited. Take as much we can take. So the spiritual world cannot be imitated. But we are cheap imitators. We have come to this world, so people come to us, we try this relationship, we imagine the purity of the relationship, we write so many poems about it, Shastra, Acharyas, laugh at it. It's the imitation. Just like the sunshine is there. Now sunshine is there on water. Now it's an imitation. We all know that. Okay? The, the reflection of sun on water and the sun, isn't there a lot of difference? There is a huge amount of difference. So similarly, between Krishna's love, and the love we are getting in this world, there is a huge difference. 
we can artificially keep writing song mere desh ki bhakti mere desh you write devotion to your country devotion to your uh, friends devotion to your parents whatever you write it is just a joke in front of purity of relation to krishna therefore uh there was a time that shri prabhupas uh, our acharya he he knew he was very much aware how the you know long rule of the foreigners muslims and the britishers had practically subjugated the indian culture prabhupada was quite aware and when the gandhi called for the non cooperation movement and we should have some swaraja so prabhupada felt and it was like that it, it, you know felt this will be useful looks like we can again follow the principles in fact today even after independence so many colleges you go you cannot put bindi imagine in india and it is allowed just imagine <laughs> imagine some christian country will allow you to uh, ban in a college wearing cross the level of that they will take over the license of that college in india everything can go on horrible <laughs> so called leaders we are anyway i don't think gandhi would have ever fought for independence had he known this is the kind of people are going to come <laughs> Or all the people who gave their life, forget. So many people who gave their life, correct? Thinking to be independent, would not have done that. Had they come to know these kind of leaders are going to rule the country, what would they get? One set of jokers and another set is ruled. Actually, people common mass has not benefited at all. Some people have benefited. They made a lot of money. Common man is safe. He was harassed that time. He is harassed now. Okay? Is he benefited? so called <laughs> so called feeling you can get and so called so called feeling so then uh, prabhupad was at that time so he also was wearing gandhi and dress and he also was studying but he gave up his education you know in protest against the foreign rule and uh, at the, he was at the situation and at that time when he was with his friend in the calcutta city he is from calcutta uh, his friend says that there is a great acharya in our city today i am going to meet him why do you accompany me so prabhu said i have seen so many somehow i was not encouraged at any time you know kalyuga you see if you scrutinize and analyze most of the spiritualist are bogus it's just a business so prabhu was not i per se you know prabhu was not very encouraged at the moment is a no this man is special to come so prabhu went to that place and when proper sat in the you know when he entered the assembly uh, immediately as a culture you know he is from a vaishnava family he saw a saint immediately paid obeisance so prasanna the proper the guru of shila proper immediately looked and he said young people like you to spread the message of krishna all around the world message of lord chaitanya you should spread all around the world So Prabhupada knew who Lord Chaitanya is, and he comes from a Vaishnava family in Bengal. So immediately Prabhupada sat down, and after sitting down, said, "I have a question." He said, "What? We are not independent now. How we can do it?" So Bhagat Bhagat the Prabhupada said, "The message is so urgent; it cannot wait for this so-called independence or non-independence." it beyond all these things the message of krishna consciousness is beyond this independence not independence and we can continue to preach proper said in fact after that i was defeated yes i understood what he is trying to say okay we what is the what benefit tell me this message has got now in this so called independent country can you take bhagavad gita teach in any college it's banned what is the benefit you got out of becoming independent In our own country, the greatest book of knowledge is not a book of religion. It's a book of knowledge. It's banned in your own country. <laughs> what a joke it is! What a joke it is! So what is the use actually? Huh? You see, he directed it very properly. Actually, very good problem. Recently, what some government wanted to introduce Karnataka government, they kept the proposal aside. So much protest started <laughs> in his own country. the greatest book of knowledge that people do not know nobody knows nobody knows 
And then we think it's a book of mythology and it is a book of some superstition and all this thing. And if you start reading Gita every day, people will say, to kya sadhu kya? Like that, people will give some jokes, correct? Actually, religion is situated in a very superficial level today, even among Hindus. No faith, no understanding. How many people actually understand the faith? Nobody. They don't like to say, but actually they have lost faith already. Mass, general mass. And it's embarrassing to say, so they don't say that. And how do you test out? Do that. Among your friends, just sit down. Even among all of them are Hindus, sit down daily, read Panava Gita. See what kind of fun they make out, make out of you. This is the level. You can then see how much faith actually they have. They have no faith actually. It's just a rubber stamp religion which is remaining. A rubber stamp. So this kind of superficial following, the youngsters particularly revolt against. They are not interested. If they want to do something, we'll do it seriously. Otherwise, we will not do it. Okay? Just to make a show, I'm an LAJS. I go once in a while to a temple and you know, puja goes on. It's good actually, go to a temple. But there is no interest to know one word. Sometimes they have in the house, Sakaran, Kata, somebody is speaking something, pay some money to him, goes. Don't follow one word, what he is going to tell you. Okay? That happens. I think many people have that. Big, big functions are there, Upanayana. No meaning understood why Upanayana is there. Nothing superficial. Now, this Bhagavad Gita is not dealing with that. It's a science, the science of the soul, science of the law. Any philosophy has three segments. What is self? Means me. Okay? What is God? The another entity. Then what is this world? The three things in this world. Me, this world, and God. Okay? How these three things relate to each other? That is called philosophy. Not understood what is philosophy. Many times, you know, there are coming at the age of speculators. Many people in this world imagine something. Just like recently somebody has written a book, The Secret. In fact, in one of the colleges where I teach, the student made a whole presentation on that to be banned by me. And the whole thing says, the philosophy says, if you want something, suppose I want Mercedes Benz, you take a photograph of that. Keep imagining, keep imagining, I got Mercedes Benz, I got Mercedes one day you will get it. And then tears came to the audio of the man, they gave him some case studies, how he got this dream. Number one objection. Material things have not made, will not make anybody happy. There are so many people having Mercedes Benz. There is no way one gram more happy than us who don't have it. We don't have a vehicle itself. Kevin? These things are dead matter. For the living spirit, dead matter is of no use. It will not make it happy. You got the point? Spirit is living. Dead matter has nothing to do with spirit. Living spirit wants living people to reciprocate, to become happy. Not dead matter. I can give you a planet with one ten thousand cars. Huge, big office. But there is no other living entity there. Not a single living entity there. Only you are the living person there. The rest is only machines. Will really they happy? You go back. You want living people to relate. An affection. That I told the five kind of relationship. Dasya, Sakya, Shanta, Vasale, Madhurya. In that there is a loving exchanges. That makes us happy. Outside. Yeah? When the exchanges are sweet, we feel very happy. When there is a disturbance in any exchange, very disturbed. Matter doesn't make anybody happy. So the very first proposal that these material things will make you happy is a, isn't it a stupid proposal itself? Even if you get it or don't get it, there is no use. Number one. Number two is that just because you dream something, you will not get it. If your karma does not allow. What is karma? Karma is Papa Punya. What is Papa Punya? If you have Behave. What is punya? If I get a facility and I use it in a responsible way, that is called punya. Punya is good. I have something with me. All of us have some facility with us. Lord has bestowed us. And if you use it in a good way, that is called punya. You behave irresponsibly with it, that is called pap. 
Papa Pony happens through the body and whatever you have, no. It cannot happen without anything. Something you are going to use, no. I had a knife, I could have used it for cutting vegetable for offering to Krishna. And that knife I can kill somebody. So the knife I can use it in a proper way or improper way. So when I misuse a knife, then next time you want a knife, Krishna will not give you. <laughs> will you get? Suppose you have a son, you give him a knife. And with the knife he comes, helps you cutting vegetables, you are cooking, you will be so happy, you say, better take. But then you see, he gave him a knife with the hand, is cut his hand. You're not going to give him a knife. No? Knife, 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 So because of his irresponsible behavior before, he is not given something. As much you make a photograph of it, or keep breathing it, you will not get it. You understood? Karma is stopping. Then some, somebody may then come to the philosophy which is called Karma Mimamsa theory. If I do Purni, I will get good activity. Where is God then? Sir, file has to be taken there for signature. He may, may not sign even with your Papa and Purni. I have done a lot of good work. I have been very responsible with the car. Now I desire a car. Krishna will give me. It is his choice. Just like in a college when you study, you want a leave or you want some permission. You have to meet principal. Correct? You have to go for a signature. Why? He may say no also if he wants. Even though generally he should say yes, he may say no also. You are working in some company, you have some leave accumulated, 3-4 leaves accumulated. But for some reason, maybe something is there, he may say no. Today there is certain level of autocracy. Krishna is supreme autocrat. He can absolutely at any moment decide no even though you have all the good karma or something. Krishna cannot be bound by anything. Just like a judge, he cannot be bound. Generally, he will put his signature, but he gives a no also. So just because I have punya, I will not get something, even then. Krishna is arbitrator. You understood this point? So now imagine how far and how... F they have created a whole religion based on the book now. Like this, Kalvila the age of speculation. And if you scrutinizingly analyze this philosophy, this book, you tear it into pieces. Pieces. Doesn't have any conception what is self only, what is soul. Nayan. Kuch bhi nahi hai. Ask the author itself. Forget the book. Call the author. What is self, sir? Please define self. Malum nahi. Then what do you If you don't know, why you try to teach? You are a cheater. You are cheating people. Okay? Suppose you know something. We should teach. 5 plus 8 is 30, you know, mathematics. You can go to first class and teach. Suppose you don't know. Somebody did a survey, no? it came big joke. They went to the government college, schools. And it came on the TV. Did you hear that? We don't see TV, but I saw on the net. The teacher is teaching English. Absolutely wrong. Did you see that? Yes. Somebody? Yes. Such big, big mistakes. We will laugh for hours. <laughs> Correct? Some mathematics, some physics. Teacher is a dumb man. So that is not teaching. That is cheating. <laughs> because small students will learn all wrong. Correct? Suppose you don't know, don't try to teach, please. So similarly, sir, you want to guide the whole world. You want to know first who is guiding you. Correct? Before you want to guide the whole world, First, we like to know who is guiding you. So, therefore, in the Vedic culture, first, before somebody speaks to you, you ask him, who is your guru, sir? Who is certified? You go to a doctor for an operation. First thing you see the board. Because you cannot judge the doctor. You cannot tell the doctor, I told some time ago, sir, doctor, this quiz is at least solved. Then after that, I will take treatment for you. The doctor will throw the quiz and say, please get on. You have no etiquette, it's all of etiquette, neither you have the capacity to judge a doctor. Somebody should have judged him. Therefore, every doctor will have a registration board also. So similarly, the spiritual line also, there has to have a guru. Who is his guru? Who is his guru? All this half baked like the example I gave today, not one, there are hundreds. Most of the spiritual organizations are also bogus, openly we can declare. Ask that fellow who is your guru, no guru only. No guru, so who? How do I trust? Suppose somebody says, I want to do your open heart surgery. He said, yes. And hospital says, yes. 
who is going to do what person is coming from where is he no he is not studied anywhere but he says he knows but will you risk you not risk so we are my life is precious you can try on somebody else please give me some doctor who is certified and trained in a respected institute we are not tired of risk so similarly spiritual line please don't take risk here better doctor will spoil your this life spiritual disaster can spoil millions of life suppose the doctor comes by mistake you take a wrong doctor you are foolish and the doctor doesn't know anything he kills you your one life is gone but next life is there no problem okay that's a big, uh, another issue on this karma is that doctor can also not kill it's a big intricacy but the point is that spiritually somebody diverts you your opportunity to go to the lotus feet is gone of the lord of millions of birth it's very dangerous actually so therefore when we take spiritual line we should be very very careful okay this person trained him. okay x who is his guru x y who is y is guru j who is his guru the parampara that is called guru parampara should go tell krishna then we are then i'm saying otherwise you won't listen don't waste don't listen one word before you listen somebody the submission check the person is authorized and qualified otherwise don't listen don't waste your time even krishna katha it is said in the shastra that even krishna katha should not be heard from somebody who is not a soul who is a servant of the lord don't hear so how do i know that that person is servant or not servant look at his other 23 hours what he is doing okay half an hour one hour this person is speaking something to me correct uh, other 23 hours what is he doing please watch <laughs> in the other 23 hours smoking drinking don't listen to him he has to be a servant of what he is speaking you should follow Then we will go to the center. So these things should be taken very carefully. So now, anyway, we come to this chapter in Bhagavad Gita. I hope I have clarified something in the point we raised. Uh, the point coming here is that there are three enemies you have: lust, anger, and greed. So if you follow your senses, because senses keep agitating in these three areas, certain your life is devastated. Any sober man, a dog can say, "I cannot help it." Okay? Dog sees a bone, immediate passion comes inside him, lust for that bone, and he starts running after that. Okay? I said, lust means anything. Lust doesn't mean only sex desire. Any passion for enjoyment is called lust. So the dog starts passionately running for that bone, and if you go to the dog and say, "Please, why are you doing that?" He cannot stop himself because why? He is a dog. But in human form of life, we have a discrimination. I have been explaining yesterday also. We have an opportunity actually to choose. We have the capacity also. If the capacity was not there, then the shastra will not say control the senses. How do I know I have the capacity? All the acharyas tell us. You have already experienced that. Sarvatha lapate deva. You have done that. You know. we have gone through experiential learning in millions of species so there is no need for us now to run after the same thing for us we have done it all and that the experience is there in the heart and the frustration of enjoying the object is also there in the heart there is no need therefore there is no puna puna charita charvanana again chewing the chew why you have done it before why you are doing it again And all varieties of animals, plants, insects, right? Varieties of enjoyments are already over. There is no need to try anything now. It's all been done. And not only done, the frustration of enjoying that is also there, stored in the heart. Therefore, person can say no. That's what it is. For any kind of material enjoyment, we have the capacity in us to say no. the capacity is there therefore when they see the dna what they are seeing is only the body not the software in fact many scientists are shocked the amount of genetic information in human being is equal to many other species also but we are so intelligent they forget this very common sense thing which they can understand now see what happens is that what we are made we think we are that but today okay 
we can use, but we have to understand what we are, but we are something more. We are not a great soul, therefore we are not able to talk on those terms. But we can understand, we are not the body, we are the living force, we are something conscious in this body. But that apart, we see that uh, we have a software which operates this body. This software has gone and experienced learning through 84 lakh species. Just imagine. Body is what is their DNA, DNA, correct? Body structure is more. That also we are studying and we, not that we design this body. We are able to little understand how this body has been created. No scientist can make a single. All they can play around. We have an open challenge. So many times ISKCON has given a challenge, million dollar challenge to the atheist scientists. Make one mosquito please. Million dollar check is ready, come and take. No scientists have ever come. No scientists have courage to come also. They know they are cheating. They simply mislead innocent people. You know, what happens when you hear a lie from 100 places, you start believing in them. I told the story. There were five, ten friends. They made a joke on the one of the friends. What is that? All the nine friends started telling that fellow that uh, you have become a ghost. Move it morning, he went to somebody. Hey, boo, boo, boo. Then he went after another friend. Oh, ghost, 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 ghost. He went to when all of them were together in a market. Oh, ghost has come, ghost has come, all around the so by the time evening he came, oh, yes, I must have become a ghost for everybody's studies. So we learn this lie in the newspaper, we are not body, we are not soul, we are body only. There is no God. And we, same thing we read in the, see in the TV, same thing we read in the textbook, same thing our friends tell us, we start believing in that lie. It's a lie actually. You are the soul, not the body. We start believing. We call a false propaganda. Propaganda is going on. Atheistic propaganda is going on. By nature we can understand anybody, I am not the body, I am a soul and God is there. But actually this propaganda is going on. Accidentally life came into being. Well, anybody has seen or not? It happened in the past, life came. And it will happen in the future, one day we will do it. Today you foolishly believe me. And I foolishly believe you, you idiot I believe and I go to hell. And then what, you will make a trunk all up. And we are sorry actually. We understood now, we are not the body, but I am frying now. Yamaraj is frying me nicely. Hmm? How it is going to help you? Try to understand this. How, how foolish it can be. It happened in the past, it will happen in the future. Today you believe me. No, is this science? It's something, no. To speak scientifically, is this science? It happened in the past and nobody has seen it. It will happen in the future, we don't know whether it will happen or not. We will do it one day. Today you believe. And they simply play around. They will play with the DNA little and this little, some what they call cloning. They are playing with the living cell and this is created. Somebody put an artificial DNA, that also he didn't make. He made a small set of base pairs, multiplied it by using, go and study what he did. Multiplied it by using living cells and then after multiplying, combined it by using living cells. He could not do actually. Using each cell and so many cells, this multiplication and combination was done and after that, when he, when he reached 1 million base pair, he just replaced it in one of the DNA. There are many DNAs in a cell. And he said, I made life. He made life. Just like in a heart, we have kidney, suppose he replaced and put her. You don't made life. It's just done some genetic engineering. Okay. But in the cell, atheistic mass of people, therefore, get cheated by all these things. So don't be cheated by all these things. So our real challenge lies actually to somehow overcome the lust. Anger and greed. And the more you can overcome that, the more you can know your spiritual advance. Okay? Any spiritualist should be free from this. And if these people go, these three things go away, the heart becomes fresh. But it is difficult to throw all these things away unless we are tasting Krishna consciousness. The more we are tasting the pleasure of Krishna consciousness, okay? when you have a higher pleasure, we can throw away lower pleasure. So more we are tasting this. And how to taste this in Kaluga? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. The Shasana says, you cannot do anything, do one thing. Just sit down wherever you are. Even a child can do it. You tell the child to go to the forest for meditation, can he do it? Impossible. You tell the child to do big, big homas, can 
This is such a simple process, even animals have, we have seen, when you to keep them around the world, so the animal also start jumping with this. Such a jubilant process. Prabhupada used to say, this Krishna conscious process is for the soul. So is it? Even in plant body, even in it. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to do Sankirtana in the forest, even tigers and elephants used to become ecstatic and start dancing. We cannot imitate, Prabhupada used to say, you can never imitate Lord Chaitanya. But at least make humanity chant and dance. And it is great fortune. Shastra says, Aho bato, aho bato kariyan yajivagri vartate namuktupyam. If somebody is people of his son, the name of God has come. How glorious that person is. So become glorious. It is, it's is—it's not at all difficult. Anybody can take it as a process and become fortunate. And then when you take out the process, you will see that so easily these three things, lust, anger and greed, get thrown away. But at least there should be two things probably you should say. One side, we should chant Hare Krishna. Try to understand Krishna, just like you are trying to understand and you are chanting. Take it. This is one side, spiritual. Other side, try to keep away from this vices. To put an effort should be. Ye nahi yaan pe aag laga hai, usko bhi thode dar pe aadhe ghante pe pe ek bucket paani dar pe. Just like one such college students at camp. I invited them, they came from the college. And they all came, they attended the program and everything. Then after that, all of them were going somewhere. So I asked where are you? We are going to watch a movie. We lighted fire, now you are going to watch a movie, put a bucket of water. Because what do you see in a movie? Lust, anger and greed. That's all. People who are lusty, people who are greedy, people who are angry. Sometimes, I, we cannot even imagine, sometimes travel in buses, they put on those TVs nowadays, and the buses also they have. Cannot even imagine that level of violence at the show. Somebody is being killed, butchered. How can somebody see that? So they see only sex and violence. Because that titillates people and they get that, uh, they see all this. So we keep away. Already my heart is loaded. Already my heart is loaded with all these things and I have to wash it. We give a very nice example. The example is suppose I am having temperature. Now should I reduce the temperature or increase the temperature? Suppose you are having uh, 103 degree temperature morning, God forbid, now it's raining. After that, will you go to college or you will take rest? You will take rest and you go to a doctor, get treatment, make it normal, then you will go. Each one of us, if you analyze, mentally we have a fever now. Mind is harassing for sense gratification. It's not at least harassment is going on. Why not make it normal and work? That is very culture. And today's culture is increasing. As I always joke, in the earphone they put, nowadays, they cannot live without a mobile. And they will put, in most of the colleges, mobiles are banned. The travel from house to college is just half an hour, many times. That half an hour also they have to carry mobile. And in the college, they pay 1000, 2000 rupees for a locker. In that, they keep their mobile. Just a minute. A moment, lunch is there, half an hour lunch. First thing is that, one teacher I saw was. <laughs> so, she was sending SMS of 11 o'clock. So what do they use? The students will only be able to see uh, the SMS in the evening. No, sir. Everybody, 11 o'clock is the lunch or 12 o'clock is the lunch, 12, 5, the mobile will be on. They cannot live without it. So they will see my message. <laughs> now wonderful this world. Anyway, it's a separate story. So now with that, we can like earphone and put in that all kachara music. Piyaro gaya, yeho gaya, all rubbish. Here, 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 here. What is going to happen? More and more heart is getting agitated. Temperature will increase, increase, increase. And then what happens? Person becomes mad. This is what is actually happening in this world. And if you uh, challenge all these people, they want to do something, reduce the temperature, they will say it is in my genes, it is in my hormones, what it can do. So nobody knows. There are two things characters. So number one, people do not know the power of the mantras. Hare Krishna mantra is not called mantra in the Vedas. It is called Maha Mantra. It's the most powerful mantra. But the Purana says the power of all the mantras are lying in this eight words. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
So many ones can contact me. Dozens of references from the scripture. This is the process for coming up. Therefore, we are distributing it all around the world. It's not a VA created. It is there in the scriptures. In fact, if you go to many traditional temples, already this mantra is written. People know actually. But public distribution of this mantra is a credit to Lord Chaitanya. You know, so called Brahmana thinking only we should chant. Chaitanya is a why? Everybody should chant if something is beneficial. And he publicly distributed this mantra. And that is one. So take care of it. And you are all the so called fever will run away. If you chant the holy name. With full enthusiasm, take up this process and become glorious and fortunate. The second point we want to tell is that chhodna nahi, jhodna. It's not that you don't have mobile, have it. We also have a mobile. Put it in Krishna bhajans. Put it in Krishna's classes by great acharyas. Put some good thing in it. Put in some nice videos, some photographs of Krishna. Use it. We have no problem. We have no problem with anything. But just use it properly. And then everything is nice. So these are the enemies. In fact, devotee is not scared of anything in this world. Just like a child now. He is with his mother now. He is not scared of anything. Okay? And any child, mother is there or caretaker is there, child is not scared. They are there to protect me. So when devotee knows Krishna is there to protect me, what is the worry? But he is worry of Maya. Maya can make you forget Krishna if you are careless. Therefore, devotee is very scared to fall into the trap of lust, anger and greed because the shloka says, anybody falls into this trap, is going to prepare it, you know, his ticket is getting booked for hell. Confirm with that ticket. Confirm ticket, I got waiting this minute. If you get into lust, anger and greed, tomorrow you will get confirmed ticket for hell and Yamaraj will be waiting for it. Don't do that. Rather, serve Krishna. Sincerely chant his name day by day. Prabhupada ordered actually the ticket. He said, You will get a ticket for Vaikuntha, do this much. Chant every day 16 malas of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. How many malas? 16. That takes two hours. It's not very difficult, but maybe it's first day you're not able to do. Take it up, gradually increase and come. You will get a confirmed ticket if you do that. And if you're chanting 16 malas of the Hare Krishna, you will be very easy. That you have to do. It's not that it will happen automatically. You will get the strength to easily throw with the dust anger and feet. You will get the strength. It's like a Narayana Kavacha. Whole day Maya is attacking you. But you have the strength. Hey, leave me alone. Don't disturb. So therefore we are requesting everybody, take up this process and become fortunate and be very careful. Lust, anger and greed are the enemies, not the delight. Of a gentleman, he can throw it up and become glorious. Shri Prabhupada ki, Bhagavad Gita ki, 